Hey, how you doing? Okay, this is a, a lesson for Alec, actually. Uh, it's For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica. Uh, there's only a few sections in the song, so we'll, uh, we'll go over them all. Starting off with the intro. <laughs> It's going to be on F sharp, second fret on the E string. It's palm muted. We're hitting it four times all together. One and two and. And then we go to an E5 power chord, our heavy E there. So that's top E string is open, second fret A string, second fret D string. So you're buying those. That's going to last for six beats. So it's an eight beat measure all together. One and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six. One and, 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 and. Two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the next section. So um, it's going to go open E, then G, which is third fret, power chord, palm muted, F sharp, which is second fret, first fret, which is F. So we got E, G, F sharp, F. One and two and and then we do it again. Three and four and so that's one bar of four beats, which is two of those lines. One and two and three and four and then we do the next bar coming up. One and two and so we do that a third time. The fourth sentence is gonna go up. Open E, second fret, which is F sharp, then G, and then we end on one of two chords. The first one is an A. You can play your A there, which is the same as an E, just lower, or your A up on your A dot, which is the fifth fret on the E string. So it's going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we repeat it again, but instead of ending on A, we're going to end on B, which is the second fret on the A string. Power chord there. So it's going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and then we get into the first solo section now the rhythm under the solo is exactly the same as the verse <clears throat> excuse me so i'm going to play those for you right now and i'll explain to you Starting off on that E power chord again, it's going to last for eight beats. You're going to refrain, which means you let it um, last for those whole eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you go to G, which is your third fret power chord on the E string. That's going to be four beats. One, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. So we have a pause there. as a break in the measure. So we hit it by smacking the G once to count our first beat. So we got pause, two, three, four. Does that make sense? Then we go back to the E. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. Now we're going to go to C for two beats and A for two beats. So we're splitting that bar between a C and an A. So here's the whole section. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Pause. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then repeat it again. Now, before the solo starts, coming out of this section, you're going to hit one E first as kind of like a break between the two pieces, and then the solo section starts. So it's going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, pause, and then you start your solo section. Okay, <clears throat> then we have our chorus section. So we're going E, three of them. One, two, three, palm muted. Then we hit a G power chord. Then we do the 
same thing, but we do an A instead, and then we go back to the G on the third sentence. So we got one, two, three, G, one, two, three, A, one, two, three, G. Now that's the constant. There's going to be two separate endings on this. The first ending is going to go open E, then A sharp, which is the sixth fret. Slide it down to F sharp, which is the second fret. Okay, so it's going to go 1, 2, 3, G, 1, 2, 3, A, 1, 2, 3, G, E, A sharp, F sharp. The second half is the same. Now instead of, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of one open E, we hit two of them. And then we do A sharp, F sharp, and then F, which is the first fret, second and first. So we got... Okay, so that's the chorus section. Then there's a second solo section. First is the first solo, which is the part, and we'll get to that solo in a sec. Um, but then there's a second solo. Okay, so what they're doing there, it's gonna go E, two, three, four, E, two, three, four. So think of it as pairs. Okay, so the first pair is an E and an E. It's gonna be four beats each. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. G. Two, three, four. And then G again, but you're going to go. So I'm going down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. And then back to E. Bum, 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 bum. Or you can down pick it if you want. Back to E. Three, four. And then a B. Two, three, four. So I'll show you here. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. B, two, three, and I repeat it. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Then we go to the last verse. Take a look to the sky. Then we have our um, ending. It's the outro. That's when Kirk goes nuts on the whammy bar. So you're going E, then F sharp, twice, then E, then F sharp, and then G. You play each of those twice. So we got. Okay, so I'll do a video on the solos next. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks.